I think you should let a date breathe, you know, get past the first course, maybe have the main course, dessert and have a drink, and then decide if you want to be with that person or not. You can't judge someone in the first five minutes of being with them. Give it a chance. Uh, Love how grows. How many dates have you been on that have not been that good? A few in my time. And but, wh but why I, were they not good? Well, because... I want you, your dating you, disaster, quite frankly. I mean, you don't always have that connection with someone, but you let it breathe because that's the right thing to do. That's the polite thing to do. You don't just leave after the first course. Worst date, please. Um, oh, I, I, all my, <laughs> all my worst dates uh, end with someone being very drunk. I think when you go out on a date, you tend to drink a bit more because you're nervous. And when a girl tries to match my Welsh drinking jeans, drink for drink, they tend to get a little bit drunk. So I've poured a few girls into a taxi at the end of the night on occasion. Well, that means you're a gentleman because you've said goodnight. Of course. Yes, exactly. Of course. I mean, that's the main thing. You've got to be a gentleman. Would you times. have taken part in a show like this when you were single? If, if I wasn't a, a TV presenter, yeah, I think I'd, I think I'd go on a show like this. I think I'd use all the, uh, the apps. I think you've got to get yourself out there. It's about volume, trying to find the right one. <laughs> really? Is that why you I did so. what you did in the past? I mean, you know, I, I like to think of myself as a bit of a success story when it comes to dating. I dated a few people here and there, and uh, I ended up finding my wife. We got married in Mayfair last October, and Felicia's parents couldn't make it, unfortunately, and they're from Las Vegas, so we went to Vegas in July, July 4th, and uh, did it again for her parents and did it Vegas style with Elvis, and uh, yeah, July 4th, loads of fireworks, is fantastic. So what's the third one gonna be? I don't know yet, I'm thinking. I don't wanna ruin it, because Felicia's probably watching, so, you know. I'm, you, I, you are completely and utterly in love. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, I married her. I mean, I'd hope so. No, no awesome. but I just mean you still look, you're glowing from it all and sparkling. <laughs> How did you meet? Tell me about the first date. Um, we just met uh, in, in, on, on Grinder. You no, fibber. Joking, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't. You fibber. No, we, we didn't. Uh, we, we met. <laughs> Everyone would love that. <laughs> I, imagine. Um, <gasps> no, I, I went to LA to host uh, American X Factor and I met Felicia just in a, in a bar. I think I spoke to Felicia first. I think I said, hiya, how would you? And she was like, hello. And that, that was that. I started on a date and took it from there. And tell me about the proposal. The proposal was uh, in, a, in a villa in, in Italy. Uh, all of Felicia's sisters were there. All of my brothers were there and a lot of our friends. And uh, Felicia and her sisters made this incredible meal. And we're all sitting around this big table. And uh, I said, uh, can I just propose a toast to the Jackson girls? Fantastic meal. Thank you very much, girls. I'm like, oh, stupid me, I almost forgot. Felicia, will you marry me? And I just whipped out the ring right there and then. She went, Woo! started crying. It was, it was amazing. It was a nice moment. And oh. nobody knew as well. Everybody was like, what the hell is going on? And that was that. She said yes. How wonderful. Do you know, I was going to talk about, I, you know, I will briefly talk about, you, you mentioned X Factor in America. Yeah. That must have been quite some huge deal. Yeah, it was a bit of a coup. Yeah, it was, I, it was everything I wanted at the time, and I got it, and I did it, and I enjoyed it. And I'm, I'm honored to say I was part of the, uh, the best series of American X Factor, definitely. Uh, but also now this new show, you say this is the thing you're most excited about out of everything you've ever done. Anything could happen. I'm trying to control six people at any given moment. You know, I've got people in my ear. Uh, some of the content is kind of a bit X-rated. Um, I'm trying to give people advice. It's just exciting. It really, really, it really, really is exciting. Well, I'm delighted you're so excited by everything in your life. It's fantastic. Things Steve. are good. Things thank are good. You very much. Is that it? That's it, I'm afraid. Was that six minutes? That was it. That flew yeah. by. Oh. Yeah. Thank well, thank you. you very much. Thank you. <laughs> not even when you wet yourself on telly. No. Why not? Why are you because not Because it's so normal now. No, it's, no, it's not. It is. No, it really isn't. It is. <laughs> no, no, it really isn't. You know, I would be embarrassed <laughs> if people were, didn't like it or people, people were like... Well, can I say to you, a lot of people don't. I don't. Yeah, I, but, I really don't, love. Honestly, I have to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, but I mean, I, I totally understand 